Wow, your words are still ringing in my heart. Sweet Holy Spirit, what really can I do without you? I really appreciate every single word spoken to me. You taught me that a wise woman builds a home. From this I realized that wisdom is indeed a weapon of spiritual warfare. Wisdom delivers to me every resource that I need to build my home. The weapons of my warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down of every vain imagination that exalts itself above the knowledge of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 4 to 5 I learned that being prayerful is good, but it's not enough. I need to apply the nuggets of spiritual wisdom in my daily living. The Lord has bestowed a special grace upon us as women that when we truly submit to the Holy Spirit and allow Him to truly shape our attitude, His anointing is able to flow through us even without any word. This anointing flows into the heart of our spouses and is able to melt even the hardest of them all. I have learned that patience is the key. My virtuous character is a seed and through patient waiting and persistence it will yield a bountiful harvest of repentance in the life of my husband. I also learned that if I can only take my hands off the wheel, I also learned that if I take my hands off the wheel of my marital vehicle, then the Holy Spirit will take over will drive my marriage straight into his perfect will stresslessly and effortlessly into his perfect will therefore in the name of jesus i decree and declare that i am a wise woman i decree and declare that daily i utilize the weapons of wisdom i decree and declare that i heed to the voice and the leadings of the holy spirit my feet are led by the spirit of god my words are led by the spirit of god i see my marriage the way god sees it i see my husband the way god sees season i decree and i declare that the same power of the holy spirit that touched my heart and convicted me of a new life in christ is flowing through my attitude onto my husband peter i decree and i declare that the atmosphere of my home is saturated with the fire of god's manifest presence i decree and i declare that peter wherever you are the power of the holy ghost flowed through this declaration and brings you down to your knees in submission to your creator my husband is my territory in the realms of the spirit by the power of the holy ghost i take over my territory i place a spiritual embargo against every orchestrations of the prince of this world that is seeking to blind the eyes of my husband against embracing the revelational truths in the gospel I decree and I declare that Peter you are for Jesus your heart is for Jesus your mind is for Jesus your profession is for Jesus your intellect is for Jesus every single thing about you will give glory unto Jesus you are becoming the man that God created you to be I decree and I declare that the frequency of your ear gates begins to be retuned only to the voice of the Spirit. Ears of Peter shut down to the frequency of this world. Shut down to the frequency of this world. Open up to the voice of the Spirit. I decree and I declare that you will encounter your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare that your 
eyes begin to see visions of Jesus. Your purpose and destiny is becoming clearer unto you in the name of Jesus. I humbly take up my assignment as your personal intercessor and helper. I decree and I declare that you are becoming a man after God's own heart. 